We are back, baby, and we are live again. We're trying it again. I know last time it went terribly wrong. Ryan and Mike's situation was our actual last live. The table flipped, but today we have two gentlemen on the show, A.B. and Zach from the H3 podcast. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you for bringing the H3 audience and bringing some of that fucking cash over here, you know? Yeah. Everything's going great. We're stealing all Ethan's money. <laughs> Fuck it, you know? He wants to have babies and take breaks. You know, I'm just swooping in. Cody Coast has a baby. Swoop in, take his brand deal. Take his money, and that's all <laughs> I'm Hell doing yeah. for no, I'm kidding. I'm excited to hang out with you guys, Happy actually. Here. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thanks for having us. I thought Ethan was, like, trolling us at first. I thought he had you ask us, and he was going to, like, prank us somehow. But mm -hmm. No, and I also, I, I didn't ask him either. Like, I mm -hmm. sent him a congrats for the, you know, the baby and all yeah. that, but I didn't, like, ask his permission. Should I have done that? Is, no, it, is, no, is no. this disrespect right no, now? No, I don't think so. Having you guys on? No. No. We're family. Yeah. Should we call him and check in with him? Maybe later in the show, but yeah. first, we got a lot of stuff to get to. Mm -hmm. A lot going on in the world right now. Um, we got Ryan here. He's back. We're giving him another shot. What's up, That's Ryan? Hey, guys. Can, I, can I flip the table? Yeah. I think that'd go. That'd look good for me. Try right? to piss him off. Yeah? Try to piss these guys off? Yeah. Um, I like your mustache. That, uh, fuck. Well, now it's hard. Yeah. No. I'm a good guy. You yeah. want to hit him? Just. Was uh, <clears throat> was it Let like. Me distract him. Let me distract him with something. Um, uh, you guys hear about that Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking what the fuck is that? What do you think about that? Fugazi. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that honestly. Uh last time I you were on the show. I don't know. I don't know. I cash you grab. You think it's legit? Cash grab. Cash. I think it's just, you know, it's Netflix, it's free, everybody will watch it, everybody yeah. will tune in thinking that it's competitive. Mm -hmm. But you know the game. You've been in the fight yeah. game, you've been in in the ring. Yeah. Twice. Yes. I respect you a lot for that. That's Thank something you. I've dreamed of, of doing. I wanted to um I wanted to have one of those influencer fights. I was actually supposed to be on that card that you were on. Oh, I was really? To fight I oh, ducks. right, 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 right. I remember that actually. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been. He told me. Again, that would have yeah. been sick. That would have been. But a good I had fight. eye surgery, so. Right. We could get a boxing match going right now. No. Actually, I, I remember you. You asked me once if I wanted to fight you because you thought no, I you thought I was Dan. <laughs> oh my god. Before <laughs> we were all cool, and you heard uh, Dan in the background talking, and you're like, "Yo, AB, we could fight in that TikToker." versus YouTuber thing coming up. I'm sorry. No, no, that I, was I so apologize funny. for that. I was that. cracking up. No, no, it was funny. Damn, what a roller coaster ride yeah. we, we have had as a relationship. Yeah. In this very chair, it started when I called into Frenemies and right, all doped up, right, right. fucking smashed in the head with a fucking crane. Yeah, <laughs> that was all the, that. And I thought I ruined my life. But it turns out after that, I got hit up by a podcast agency and they were like, hey, we think you got something here. <laughs> no we want to sponsor you. And that's how Jeff of M was born from that's Frenemies. So, I didn't know that. You know, yeah, born from Frenemies. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were both around that time, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Throughout oh, the yeah. Frenemies. Mm -hmm. do, you, oh, yeah. do you miss it? Mm -hmm. Every day. <laughs> I'm going to hold my tongue on this one. You Why? do, huh? Do I miss it? Yeah. I saw Trish on a billboard down the street today. Really? Yeah. She's on the corner, like some cosmetic makeup brand or something. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we could mend that relationship, but I know I understand. You I know I know how personal it is and everything, and that's not what I brought you guys on the show here yeah. to do. It just came up, you know. I yeah. saw her fucking driving here just now mm -hmm. on a billboard. I, the audience really loved the show. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, and you got to give the audience what they want, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm fucking sucking the teat of that H3 audience. That's what she's told. She dissed me one time. She was like, keep sucking that tea. Um, Dave, I don't even know who. I don't, she might not even been talking about me, but I remember her saying sucking That's on that so tea. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, now I'm sucking the H3 tea. But I need a tea uh, to suck on, you know? Yeah. I, need, I need a we all do. A tea. Sa sound yeah. bite. Was a sound Please bite. don't sound bite that I one. I just sucked some guy's dick But back. it's nice to have a crew. You know, we just did The Bachelor sure. together, yeah. and it went great. You know. How are things? Yeah, how's that going? great she's yeah. watching she's oh, watching she? live oh it was her idea to have you guys on no oh. shit yeah shout out what's up yeah Veritza? shout out Veritza. Thank we you, gotta yeah. get her name right because we were saying Veritza. it yeah i just give it like a Veritza, you know like a slice Veritza. of pizza yeah like i put in the song <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah no she's awesome she's really sweet she is yeah. great girl she's yeah. great i'm seeing her in um like a week oh, okay going to dubai no Fuck way. Hey. Yeah, I'm All commentating right. or like doing some interviews on some fighting thing, karate combat. And 
I figure it's close to Australia. We'll just meet up. Nice. We'll meet up out there. That's exciting. But we've been talking every day. Mm -hmm. Even this or this morning, I woke up super early. I guess I was excited for this this episode today with you guys. So sweet. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. Wow. And I texted her, and she was going to sleep. Wow. And I was like, fuck, like, you know, this is where we have to communicate this little window of time, sure. yeah. you know, where I'm waking up super early, she's going to bed. And I was like, I'm going to go, I think I might go for a run right now in the dark and I'll, I'll get a picture of the sunrise. And she was like, you know, All right, I might go to bed. You know, I was like, I'm going to get you that picture of the sunrise. So as I was out there, I was like, the sun was coming up mm -hmm. and I was like, fuck, I'm not going to make it to the top of the mountain in time. But I used that. I was like, I'm getting this for my woman. That's beautiful. Fuck yes. She did it for picture. love. That's primal. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. What's the time difference between here and where she it's lives? It's like the exact opposite. It's like the worst. <laughs> it's all set up to fail. Damn. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> love will prevail. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. In Dubai, fucking killing. I never yeah. been to Dubai. I've oh, never been there. Okay. Awesome. My We're dad gonna... went there recently. Yeah. You're Muslim, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. I was thinking about becoming that at some points in my life. Really? We'll get yeah. to it. I think all gods are the same god. Yeah, yeah. I think it all goes to the same place, but I had a bunch of Albanian friends growing up okay. and they were all Muslim and it just seemed okay. like, it seemed dope. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are you? Lebanese. Are I, you really I, Lebanese? Yeah. Oh, you believe man. in nothing, right? Uh, no, I believe in reincarnation, if anything. Oh, my I'm, best friend is uh, Lebanese. Yeah, nice. Well, I'm not your best friend, but I'm Lebanese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, nice. my, my dad's that was Lebanese. good. It's in the eyes. I think I, yeah, you got Big some ass more eyes. eyes to me. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Something you guys could bond over. Yeah. 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 I don't know Arabic, though. So, you guys got my a lot of, you good. guys probably have a lot more in common than you think. Mm hmm. Yeah. I said me and Mike get along. Oh, true. <laughs> what? Um, Did you want to hit him? What's it like being uh, H3's henchman? <laughs> right, Jeff? It's a dream come nice, true. Nice, nice, nice. I don't get it. Say it with a little more confidence. <clears throat> What's it like being H3's henchman? <laughs> it's a dream come right. true. You should know, henchman. Yeah. What What do you mean by that? It's like, uh, you know, like, because I was sitting at the end of it, right, oh, Jeff? Because you're getting like, I'm his face. henchman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, I was trying to be like, haha, you guys hey, are henchmen. If you want to flip that table. Let's, let's wait a little bit. <laughs> but I'd love to at some point. No. Uh, it, it, I'd... I love my job. I always tell people I have the best job in the world. Uh, just, I think. He's my hench. He's my yes the, the, man. Yeah, the if joke I tell was, him to jump yeah, right now, right. he fucking jumps. That was the joke. I was, I was yeah. sticking with you. Yeah. Um, no, we. I always tell people I have the best job in the world. I love what I do. I go into more, the, I mean, we get to do amazing shit. Yeah, you really do. And we, we've been, we, that's all we had planned for the show today. Was, <laughs> was that back? Just that joke. Yeah. I mean, we, we didn't even. We have, that well. we have desks. We have desks. Yeah, yeah, we have we, desks. We have desks. Working on it. Yeah. yeah. How's that chair? Is it comfortable? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You I sure? just got this. I used to have to hold it. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. I got okay. an arm now. Slowly moving. You guys up. all have a good yeah. role on the show. You all, you all serve your role perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't even know how it all came about. You actually sent in a video or something, right? Or you, uh, made, you posted I made a, a video? video defending Ethan. I was a small YouTuber I, and like, it got all like hate views, people talking shit. And I almost deleted it. But yeah. Then Ethan watched it like two years later, and then he entered a live stream I was doing. I had like twenty people in there. And then Ethan joined it, and uh, we became friendly. He added me on Twitter, and then like a few months later, he offered me a job. Damn. Yeah. That's, That's great. great. Yeah. What are you in charge of exactly over there? Sorry, I'm a little bit. Um, I'm, I don't know that much. I've never okay. gone over there. I don't know exactly what your guys' roles are. Uh, Ethan's always in so many beefs, though. Yeah. But I'm happy that I'm on his side now. Oh, yeah. Like, it's tough mm -hmm. being, you know, involved in that because I will see some I people do? talk shit. Like, you know, even like, like fucking Reddit and stuff. I know you guys deal with Ugh, all, yeah. all that. It's fucked up. But um, he's got real beefs, and I feel like I'm the perfect friend because oh, yeah. I'll fucking mm. I'll finish those beefs. Definitely. He wants to start them, I'll finish yeah. them, and we could all go to jail together. Fuck yeah, yeah. you know. Everyone needs a Cody in their mm -hmm. life or a Jeff, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cody still has two strikes right now, so if he gets one right. more, he's done doing life. <laughs> he's in Paris right now. Is he really? What's he doing yeah. there? Dude, he's that doing guy a marathon. Travels, doing Paris man. marathon. Like a midnight run type thing, midnight express, you know? He actually ran the Paris marathon. Good for him. And nice. I, I see, like, he just does another marathon, five hours. It's like, 
just above walking pace, you know? Yeah. And I commented on his Strava. I was like, you act like you're some like international Olympic marathon or running these races and like giving motivational speeches yeah. about it, yeah. but you're just getting a participation medal. And he's like, uh, I forget what he said to me. Nah, he was like, owe it to my some shit like that. It was, an, <laughs> it was a response like that. He was like, no, nah, I got to get all the medals because yeah. there's like all the, um, the, the, the most popular, mm. the, like the biggest cities. Right. And I was like, you need to get a job. So you need, <laughs> and that, that's the last time we saw each other. So oh, damn. he'll be back in a week or he's meeting us in Dubai. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. He's that's got fun. connections cool. out there. Hell Old yeah. skydive or some shit nice. over, over the palm. He, he's the type of dude, like if you need a really good hug, he's that guy. Should we call him? We can. Yeah. He, he says, I love you to me all the time. Do you get um, good hugs from him? And he says, I miss you. Cause I, I do get good hugs. From it, him. There's nothing yeah. like a good hug. You know? Yeah. So it's like, except I'm like scared. Like I, I just know that like at any point during the hug, he right. could just kill me. Yeah, he could snap me. You know what I mean? I really, I really like your mustache. Thank you. Yeah. I just got a. I just, did. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you're, yeah. Thank you. You're, you're complimenting him. It looks very good. Yes, bud. Thank you. Yes, bud. Oh, I love nice. stealing those compliments. Um, I got an email this week getting invited onto the Joe Rogan podcast. Fucking no way, Marvel time. It was a scam. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but how nuts is that? Like, that would work so good on people like us. Like, if you email Mike right now, yeah. and you're like, Mike, you know, we love no. what you do on Impulsive. No, no, we no, want no, you on, no. we want to have you on JRE. Wow. Mike would fucking send in. I don't know how they get I'm going to get him. I'm going to do that. He's not watching this. I'm doing that now. It's too late. We talked about it live. Somebody's going to tell him. Well, let or me now. ask. Or just do it right now. Like, actually, if you're just on. Just go on his email and. Yeah, you could take right now, just. You know, take five. <laughs> take five and, and figure out how to scam Mike. So what was the email like? Uh, JRE producer at Spotify? Uh, yeah. That's Joe, that's Joe Rogan. Was oh, Joe Rogan. literally Joe himself. <laughs> Joe Rogan, <laughs> at 69 at no, yeah. Hotmail.com. So yeah, and he's Joe like, Rogan invite Edgy. He's like, so uh, we want to fly you out and take care of everything, but first we need you to send in 5,000. We're going to send you back 10,000 or something like that. <laughs> Bro, I'm Damn. trying to get on there so bad. I'm about to just send the money and see, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get you on there. If there's a will, there's a way. Maybe we should start doing that to people. Let's get a gam campaign going. Oh, you mean, yeah. How about That's like, something we'll, Cody could do. You said he needs a job. <laughs> just, just call up smaller, like, micro-influencers <laughs> yeah. and invite them on the podcast and scam them. Yeah, exactly. You just got to pay us 500 Five, bucks, yeah. and we're going to get you on Jeff FM. Yeah, you guys could probably charge two thousand to get a, a guest That's on very H3. Smart of you. I thought we were money. getting scammed when you invited us on, so I'm glad this is real. No, he, he it's like real. he texts me he's like, "Are we? Are we sure this is real? Like, is this legit?" Like, Bro, I'm an opportunist. I saw an opportunity, or it was presented to me by Veritza, and I jumped on it. And that's not a negative thing. I thought it was right. once my friend in Staten Island. He's a barber. I used to work next to. Mm -hmm. He was like, he was talking shit on me. I, I took it as because it was recently. And he's like, oh, yeah, fucking Jeff. He, yeah, he, because they're like, oh, Jeff's doing all this stuff now. And they're like, yeah, he's a fucking opportunist. The fuck? Yeah. Dude, you get a lot of hate from back home. Well, it's just the barbershop, you know? Mm. It's just no bullshit. Yeah. So I call this fucking guy yeah. and I'm like, yo, you're talking shit on me. You call me an opportunist. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you are. It's a good thing. You fucking <laughs> had an opportunity and you jumped on it and you're yeah. doing it again. It's like a nice way of calling somebody a cloud yeah, chaser, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? It's stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so stupid. Not, nah, I get that Fuck too. Fuck I'm an opportunist, Fuck and I'm starting member. We started members only. It's Fuck going, yeah, dude! Great. Yeah. 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 Taking a page out of that book yeah. over there. Yeah, it's, up in the best. Yeah, it's it's actually a lot of fun. I don't know. Um, we don't have the chat up. I don't know how to work these buttons and stuff here. We're gonna do some more practice runs. Okay. But um, yeah, it's cool because we put up all of our old vlogs that we made from the accident mm. that. Like oh. we offered vlogs. We that's what we did nice. more than live streams. I think you guys or Ethan at his house will just do an hour or something. He like. does that and also I make uh behind the scenes content that we put up for members. So we like, could start doing that. Yeah. You could go make a video right now and sell it to me. There you go. And then I'll put it on right. actually no. Right. I'm not involved, they're not gonna want to pay for it. No, no, you don't he works you. for you, yeah. I'm well, I'm I, not like salary, you know, it's just what, I got independent why, contractor. Why aren't you wearing shoes? Oh, I'm just comfy, you know. What's going? Oh. Yeah, what is going on with that? Comfy. No respect, huh? Actually, it's more respect. How? Because you know, I didn't want to track dirt. He just got his house cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. Yeah. And I'm I gave you a respectful. haircut, and I said, "Don't walk through the hair and walk through the house." And I, I just didn't. got it clean. Yeah. There you go. This is respectful. That's disrespectful. 
No, right. those are those are Travis Scott uh, Nikes. That's not that's cheap, even more disrespectful. I eat dinner up. Yeah, you guys look good, man. You Thank dressed you. up nice for this show too. Of course, yeah. It's, Ethan's gonna be jealous. Nah. He's gonna be like, you guys never fucking show up like that to work for us. <laughs> we, I think we do. Yeah, we do. We, we, we try and outdress each other. Look at this, yeah. AB, so cute. I, I don't try, but I uh, think. Good idea, good idea, Jeff. Yeah, see, opportunist. I'm a fucking opportunist, yeah. and I'm proud. It, it, but the second part was go Ryan. Go Ryan. <laughs> you cut that part go out. Ryan. Unnecessary to read that part. <laughs> hey, I really like your mustache. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. I'm I keep like saying it, that. I feel like, I don't know, maybe this is just an observation. I feel like if I sat in between you guys, it would be like a blend of you guys. Like I, would be a <laughs> blend, I would be a blend of you, too. You want, me, you want me to cradle you like a baby? Can I sit in between you guys? Yeah, yeah, Can I just see sit, if I'm sit. a blend of them? Hold on, baby. Kyle, how are you doing back there? Do you feel pressure that Zach is here and Zach's the master soundbiter and you have to now perform for him? Um, not pressure, but I do give him his flowers for sure. I don't know why you're trying to get me to like fold right now. I'm not, I'm not trying to get you to fold. I'm just trying to get you to be honest and vulnerable. Yeah, Kyle, I'm honest. I, every, be honest, Kyle. Every time I see you, Joe, I, I <laughs> pay uh, the the most tremendous compliment to Kyle. He's doing a fucking great job. You do. Wait, yes. You do say that to me a He's lot. He's doing a great fucking job. Yeah. And I forget to tell you sometimes, Kyle. So I guess now is... <laughs> You know, yeah. your moment where you get to get okay. your flowers. Zach does tell me that all the time. And sometimes I'm thinking he's just saying it to like where make, you going? Where make you, small you talk, you know. Oh, I can't talk. But I really do like your sound bites, Kyle, and you improved a lot. So I'm happy we got the whole team back together. Everything's going great, you know. I'm fucking, I'm running up mountains for my woman. Hell yeah. And things couldn't be better. We're going to Coachella this weekend. I feel mm, like that's we'll fine. I don't want to go. <laughs> really? No. I got tricked into it, uh -huh. sort of. It was the day after the marathon, so I was like out of it. I was throwing up blood, and then Mike was like, oh, "I need you." He called my assistant. He was like, "I need Jeff to send this money right now." Mm. He scammed me. I was Mike gonna say, I, the fucking... Joe Rogan invite?" And it was five G's, <laughs> and it was wow. five fucking G's. You want to get up? Yeah, can I yeah, you can. Yeah. Get yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of there. That was nice. I just wanted to prove that. It, yeah. yeah, no, you look like the fusion of us. I see it. It's like a Jew and a Lebanese together. Yeah. We should not be going to Coachella anymore at my age. The lineup is dog shit. I'm excited for Gwen Stefani. Okay. I get anxious at those things. I don't know. I don't like concerts. I never have. Yeah. I mean, but definitely now. Oh, you don't? I, I mean, I like yours. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and especially like I'm sober, kind of. You know, right. most, I did do mushrooms at the Sphere with Rita. Nice. Oh, How was that? How'd that go? Fucking incredible. Oh, my God. I've never done. I can't imagine. Yeah, it was the sickest. It was, it was so insane. I can't even explain it, but I'll try my best. <laughs> So we're driving out there. I'm driving. Yeah. So she's got the bar of mushrooms and she's like, we talk about this in the Mike Posner episode, but it's a members only. So there's early no access. little plug right there. Early access. We did a week early access. And it'll be out live next week. So you don't I'm have to sign up. Probably close to a gram of mushrooms. Um, but yeah, we talked about it in the Mike Posner episode. We drove out there together. We were supposed to go to Disneyland. Plans fell through. Oscar canceled. Tana and her boyfriend canceled. It was going to rain. It was going to rain. So mm. we were like, Disneyland, just us, mm. or drive to Vegas and do mushrooms at the Sphere. And she was all about it. We didn't even know what was playing at the Sphere. We didn't, it could have been you 2 It could have been the fucking movies that they show. And she took the mushrooms on the drive out. Ooh. So mm. she's already fucking gone by the time we get there. Fear and loathing, dude. Yeah, I just want to say fear and loathing. Yeah, yeah on Terrible the Terrible ether. Bats yeah. are everywhere. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it was during the day, too. Beautiful drive through the desert. Yeah. Four hours. We're talking. We're cramming in that. As, get as much time together as mm, we can. Yeah. Bonding. Yeah. And uh, she's fucking, like, just completely just laughing hysterically at everything. And there's these AI robots that they have at the Sphere. There's like this whole experience that you go through. And the, the robot will look at you and it's like, that's a nice Hawaiian shirt you have on. And then they'll start commenting on like your mustache or, or some shit. You got like a that. great mustache. Yeah, that tripped me out. She would say some shit. She would look at you and she'd be like, it's you like have a, a mustache. It's like a standing bot. Like yeah. when you walk in, they're just like, hello, yeah, a welcome woman. to the Sphere. It looked like Ex Machina, if you know... <laughs> The movie. Yeah. Like, it was freakishly real. This is when Barista was in the bathroom. But I was like, everybody got to ask one question. Mm. Shut up, mustache man. And everybody would just ask, like, a stupid, stupid question. <laughs> like, you know. And I went up to him, and I, was, I went up to her, and I was like, are you guys going to kill us in the future when you get a lot smarter than us? Mm -hmm. And she said, no. 
And then I asked her, are you programmed to say that? And then they kicked me out. They'd be like, all right, you're done. You're no, done. Wow. What the hell? The movie's starting. What the fuck? Terminator. So then, so then we go in the movies, in the sphere now. Oh, okay, and we're yeah. in this big fucking beautiful sphere. There's all these, like, you think that bathroom looks nuts? That bathroom times a billion. Like, just all these gadgets and shit. Like, it looks like your guys' studio, but yeah. some crazy shit's about to go down. But then it's just a movie. Mm. We're like, oh, what did we come to? Just a, it's just like a movie a normal, screen, like frame. Yeah, mode. okay. For, so we're like twenty minutes in, and, yeah. now, and now we're kind of like bummed out. Yeah. We're like, fuck it, we'll just watch this movie. And then the Earth just starts coming out of the screen, <laughs> oh, and Christ. they hit you with oh, that like twenty God. minutes of like you fucking paid for some dumb shit, and then like now we're gonna hit you with what this shit's really like. Oh, that sounds sick. And oh. I, I started falling forward. So you were like fall, like it was just like a mind fall. Is it on the floor too? Is it just? Like nothing no, moves. No, 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 it was just you feel like you're That's falling into the yeah. earth from space. But I mean, are there screens on the floor as well, or is it just like around you? No, it, no. they they stop at the okay, floor. Okay. Yeah. It's like uh, just, it's like the visuals for you know that the Millennium like Falcon ride right here. Yeah, that it's looks like, like the future. Like that would be the bottom where you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sitting on one side, and like, but you look up and you mm. see like a bird, and you're like, how the fuck do they film this? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know where I saw it on Instagram. Some place had like a clear floor with a screen under it. I thought maybe it was the sphere, but I guess not. No. But yeah, that sounds awesome though. Yeah. We, we just drove by it. We didn't go in last time we were in Vegas. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah. It's I was just proud of humanity and happy I could still see because it was really it was really sick. Um, but yeah, I'm that's just... something that they're gonna do a fight in the sphere. They're gonna uh -huh. have a UFC. They already uh -huh. got it set up. Uh huh. That shit's gonna be insane. And that's what I wish I was. Doing, going, I wish I was going to UFC 300 okay. mm. this weekend, and that's why I got pissed at Mike because I didn't know that they overlapped. And I just I was like, yeah, yeah, fucking oh. send the money, send the money, and yeah. then Bruce Buff, it's gonna be sick. Yeah, fucking a, man. Yeah, but I'll go to the Sphere. I'll get, I'll get to watch the fights in there. That'll be insane. Yeah, that's gonna just be insane. them fighting down there and then giant, like yeah. How do they even? I, they, I don't know. I was wondering how they would shoot that or where they they put the stage. Is the stage usually in the middle, or is it, like, to a side of the... It's kind of like if you're in a movie theater, and then yeah. there's, like, that little area where, the like, if you get there early, the person yeah. will come out. You ever get to a movie theater that early? Like, before the coming attractions? Yes. No. You haven't? You no. definitely haven't. No, I haven't. Never been on a date night in a movie theater, my dude? I have. I have. Never gone early. I go early, dude. A person comes out and talks. And no, they like, don't. I, I swear, every movie theater does it. No way. They, they'll come out and be like, all right, you guys are going to watch this. What's the point of that? Why yeah, do they do that? I don't it, know. It's, con it's nice. It's a nice gesture. Maybe we'll start doing that. You got a nice beard. You got a great mustache. Show. You're my new best friend, man. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm supposed to be mean to them, Ryan. <laughs> no. What does Ethan even do on the show? Just fucking scroll his Reddit? Does he just look at what <laughs> people fucking saying on Reddit? It is? is that actually what he does? No, no he no. comes it, he comes prepared. But how does he have time for all this shit? We make time. We we, we try and present the best uh, content possible. So is it you guys that are the brains to go scour the web, find the drama, find the, what's going on? Yeah, that's me. Um, So, we yeah, the, the team is just so great, honestly. We really do have a good team. Um, And the way everything is divided up, I'm in charge of the doc. Uh, mm -hmm. that Ethan uses for the show. Uh, um, yeah, so... I keep that secret from them. Really? Really? Yeah. Interesting. Like, I have my own here. And okay. it's like, it's it's written in, like, my own language. Uh -huh. So only I can understand it. So you keep them on their toes. Yeah. How do you feel about that? We have some things that are... It sucks. Are, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible work environment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, me and Ethan are in constant communication. Because, um, like, me and him will go over stuff... Uh, you know, he's always sending suggestions and, and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, so I'm in charge of the doc and then like Olivia will help me and Zach will help me with the doc as well. But Zach also has his own department. Zach is sound and everything's yeah. sound related. I'm, I do like, I check for claims. That's like kind of my shit. Yeah. Which is very helpful because yeah. that takes a lot of time. Damn. It so I need to time. hire fucking two more guys or I could get the ones that are around now to do this shit. True. More money. Yeah. Charge me more. I'll do the bring doc. It, bring in a doc. I'll do a doc. But I, I love that. I also yeah. do like any any original music. Yeah. Theme song, shit like that. Yeah. yeah you mentioned in the beginning that you were going to remake me a, a song because we got ours off Fiverr. I, I can. I do love the one you play, though. I never liked it. Really? What? No. 
never i i mean maybe in the beginning i was like this will work for now but mm -hmm. next week we gotta have a new one and then we just never mm -hmm. came back to it well we we made another one and the people didn't like it oh it was like mm -hmm. a hip-hop version right it was like rap yeah 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 but we would love that zach yeah. that'd be great they tell me the vibe you want and i'll present it to i you. think maybe the same lyrics just in a different like remix okay you know we'll get something going yeah yeah 500 bucks it, done. <laughs> it, done. that's fucking great listen i don't know how much he's paying over there but i'll double it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no i can't do that that's too far now i'm pushing it now i'm crossing the line yeah, that was it um yeah i got some uh, i have some topics here aiden ross um put on a boxing event again and now he's banned entirely from in florida do you know about this stuff already uh, or you just bit. been on vacation we, mode. Vacation we'll talk mode, about it when we're back. We, <laughs> yeah. No, we we were talking about it um a little bit. This this stuff with like Dean is is that his name? The boxer Dean. The Great? No, somebody else. Some, oh, okay. Somebody got brain damage. They had a concussion, and and he was like, eh, fucking. He called him a uh, fat dumbass or something like Aiden that. Aiden did? Yeah. But you got to have these things right. sanctioned. If you're going to have people fight, it's yeah, illegal definitely. to have a fight unless you make it a sporting event. And you yeah. do that through the commission. And mm -hmm. that's what you did when you had your fights. Yeah. I like Crater Clash. That's one thing that like, I mean, there's lots of things, but that alone, like their care for their fighters is like unmatched from what I've seen. Like they yeah. really, Anissa and Ian really take the time to check in on everyone, make sure everyone's ready to go. And they're, they're great about that. Um, It made the fighters feel like uh it was a lot less scary because of them. Would you do it again? Uh, no. <laughs> no? It's it's hard because, like, uh, it's something that really requires, at least for me, like, all of my time. And, you know, I still I still work. I still have a, a day job. And uh, I want to have a social life because I feel like the, those two years were, like, on fast forward for me. I feel that's, like that's it. Yeah. That's where mm -hmm. I waste my time. Yeah. And Ethan has time to fucking look things up online. <laughs> that's the difference because yeah. I spend too much of my time working out. I'm going to be the new fat man bad. <laughs> I'm just going to get fucking. Yeah, because he's skinny, he's now. skinny now. I'll yeah, get fat yeah. and fucking just open. be starting bees, be miserable in here. <laughs> yeah, that's Dude, how it's going to go. I can't do this shit so forever. Fat. Yeah. We'll go get a nice sandwich at Daughters on Sunset, you know? What are you talking about? You, you've ever been on the Daughters on Sunset, the deli? No. Good sandwich joint, dude. I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. All right. All right, get Cody, uh, or what are, what are we going to do here? Uh, uh, I sent Aiden the Ross? Link. Nobody bit yet. Yeah. Uh, I would have really loved to, but also I wouldn't want to do Creator Clash because, you know, obviously the risk of the eye. Yeah, yeah. It's too risky. Creator it's Clash is just it. for charity. <laughs> no? <laughs> Put some money on it, now I'll risk my vision. <laughs> you <Right>. know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. I, I, would, I would do it for probably for that reason, but I just wouldn't, people wouldn't want to support me fighting. Because they've seen, like, you know, right. yeah, fucking I can see that. eye pops out. Imagine we fought and you pop my right on the oh, canvas. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what I'd aim for, to be honest. That'd be my only thing. Great you content. Yeah. You should. Be sick. Yeah. Nobody will understand. Like, I, I've had some spars mm -hmm. and some, like, gym fights, mm -hmm. but nobody understands really that feeling and that one on one competition where it's just you and another man in there. Yeah. It's not like team sports. Exactly. Yeah. You can feel that person breaking or you can, like, feel them getting tired. Yeah. Or, you know, you've had two fights, mm -hmm. and you won your first. I lost the first. Oh, did you? <laughs> I, I, I lost both fights. Yeah. Did yeah. you? Yeah, but well, I, you dropped him, right? I did drop him. So yeah. you got the That's all that matters reel. to me. Yeah, you got yeah. the highlight reel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it was it was scary. No, it was. I've never been athletic. Like I've never been like into like team sports or anything. So it was really hard for me. But uh, yeah, I was actually me and my wife were just talking about this. I forget how it came up, but. Uh, it's all on you and that's what makes boxing so scary like yeah the first time i sparred was probably the scariest thing i've ever done yeah like i got scared and like i went all out in the beginning and then the guy just beat the fuck out of me after because i was like so tired i couldn't like hold my even was it just one round no no we went like like three rounds yeah. okay but like i couldn't put my hands up because i was so tired and this guy just fucked me up. And I can't even really blame him because I was going hard in the beginning because I wasn't used to sparring. I was just scared. So Yeah. It's uh it's scary. Yeah, I had a good spar with Cody. We went at it when we had a uh an argument because mm. he got out of prison. He was very institutionalized when he got out. Yeah. Like I would be editing and when he got arrested, we were both just selling weed and now now we're doing this stuff. He comes out and I'm like a fucking 
you know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. different person. Almost. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm, wa- I'm walking yeah. down the street and we're getting like asked for pictures and shit. Yeah, He's like, yeah. what the fuck's going on? This <laughs> yeah. shit's crazy. So he got a little carried away. I would be editing and he'd come over and like hand me the Bible and he'd be like, you should be reading this. <laughs> <laughs> which now he's not okay. <laughs> like but three and a half years in yeah, jail yeah. will make you find god if yeah, you yeah. haven't yet mm-hmm. and uh we just we like didn't talk for like three months i was like you gotta go find your own way and then i was training to do a fight mm-hmm. i was thinking about that i dubs one and we just had cody we were like yo let's just meet up at this gym and fight in the ring and that <laughs> i fucked him up i fucking <laughs> pieced him up yeah. but he had no idea what he was walking into yeah you know like i'd had been training i've been in camp yeah and i just lit him up i was lighting him up with just straight punches down the middle he was just swinging heavy body shots which if he would have caught one it would have put a hole right through my really? fucking stomach yeah but he didn't catch me when i was just oh, yeah. piecing him up and he got so frustrated he threw his headgear off and he was like "Fuck this shit this fucking and then we were friends again after that's beautiful. Fuck yeah. People don't understand like how much technique goes into it. Like at first the guy I was fighting, you know, he's a really big dude, Hundar. Um, and the whole internet was telling me I was going to die. Actually at first, Zach was, I think the first one, uh, Ian offered, wasn't it? Or no, I think that was the second time around. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, he was a scary dude. So they wanted, uh, someone, this is dad or no, that was, uh, you Hun- took two tough fights. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, yeah. Which they, is they even more, give even, well, that's, I give you yeah. even more respect because you, you tro- or they offered him and you were like, I'll take these guys like the hardest fights. Yeah, yeah. There. No, I, I had to bullshit a little bit the first time around. Yeah. I don't even think I've ever said this before, but they're like, because uh, they were talking about it. And I think they said, does Ethan want to get involved? He's like, I'm not fucking fighting, you know? And so yeah. uh, I kind of interjected. I'm like, oh, I'll do it. And uh, they're like, oh, have you? You know, have you boxed before? I'm like, no, but I got in fights all the time in high school. Right? Yeah. And they're like, okay, but Bryce this- Hall shit. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. in 50 street fights. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready now. <laughs> that dude, when they showed the picture, like, yeah, he's a big guy. And I was like, oh yeah, that's nothing. But I was like, terrified. I'm like, this guy's gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> but luckily I got I found Wild Card. Um Yeah, that's and, where like, I started boxing at yeah. Wild Card. And it's like that's a very legit gym. And it's if, one of the most coach, legit in the country. Yeah, yeah. My coach, he was a professional fighter, Wally, a uh, lucky boy. Uh that's the nickname. He uh He's from Nigeria and like he's hardcore. Like he yeah. he fucked me up, but I I needed that yeah. to survive. So yeah, of course it's all killers. And yeah, then Freddie Roach even he's a legend. Yeah, yeah. And I met my my boy Liam, the Irish kid uh-huh. I would hang with a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's fucking dope. Yeah, but you know we're hanging it up. We're retired. Yeah, no, I'm glad I did it though. I remember immediately after my first fight, I'm like, thank God I, I didn't quit because it was like the coolest experience ever. Yeah, you Walking left it all out Walking in the stadium there. and seeing all the fans and it was it was awesome. Yeah. You'd be yeah. like shadow boxing in the office and shit. Yeah, I got a problem with there. that. I shadow box all day long. They fucking it's make cringe. fun of me for it. It's yeah. cringe. It is. It's so cringe. But it's hard when, you know, it's hard yeah, not no, to. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of info to take in, so I just want to constantly be practicing, but... I was gonna make a parody documentary on like a guy that's addicted to shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go, that's funny. I'm just fucking yeah. But we don't want to fucking. We just do podcasts and look at Reddit. Yeah. No, that's all we do. <laughs> Pull up Reddit. What's going on over there? I hate the fucking Reddit. Dude. Let's let's fucking. Let's, I I want that place to burn down. Let's let them do our job for us. What's going on? Which or, one ours or theirs? Uh, pull up. Uh, let's go theirs. You see Kyle's board? What? Did he yawn? No, no, no. You can see his his board or his or his, his plank. Board. His plank uh, or yeah, that, uh, oh, he sits on a plank. I, uh, I didn't know there were so many different things that I thought you were saying right there. Uh, sorry, that, I should have spelled. Awesome. Yeah, you can see his sound board. Yeah. Wait, you talking about sound cue or this thing? Kyle's sound, board, sound cue. Oh uh, yeah. So if somebody was trying to steal our yeah. tech, yeah, that's what we did to you guys when we went in there the first time. You yeah. know nothing about nothing. I was like. I brought, remember I brought them for yeah, the yeah. first time we did like the, I think it was me, Mike and Tana. Yeah. Yeah. Or I might've did it. So I forget, but the first time we were like, let's squash I think the it was beef. The steamies. Yeah. We squashed the beef in the, in the vice. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I oh, know yeah. it was steamies. I was, there was it steamies? Yeah. We yeah. Oscar went there for that. I one. was like, go behind there and take pictures of all their shit. You so motherfucker. Did you? <laughs> and no, obviously Mentally. now we have the different stuff. Yeah, that's so funny. We, we don't, don't have guy it. pays my bills. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anything Oscar. I can do to help, but there's still a good amount of secrets. No, I'm sure. Yeah, and also it's your own style too, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Oscar's basically our Dan. You know, he he just figures everything out. Yeah, you know, and his dad builds the sets. Really oh, nice. Okay. Speaking of, of that, the Joker uh, trailer comes out tonight. Yeah, I'm excited for that. 
yeah, what's the deal with you being the Joker guy over there? Because look, because <laughs> o- over here, you know, I'm like, this set is, is inspired by the Joker. Are you the Joker? Well, this would oh, be the shit. Murray Franklin show, so oh, I'd be Robert yeah. De Niro. I'm just waiting for a guest to fucking. You want to hear another one, Maury? Right Moray? Here. Yeah. Another one, Moray? <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. gonna Joker off right now? Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking stupid, silly stuff. I, 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 the Joker is just so out there, you know? Yeah. Are you excited for the new one with Lady Gaga? I am. I really like Lady Gaga and I, I love Joaquin, so. Yeah, I think she's gonna, I think they'll, it'll be fucking sick. And Todd Phillips? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One time we made a music video, Burning Man. Okay. It's about like sucking your own dick at Burning Man. Sick. And What's wrong with this guy? Uh, Todd Phillips watched it and liked it. Really? He, yeah, he like sent a, a comment on it or something. I'm sorry, what was that? A documentary about sucking your own dick at Burning Man? We made a song. a song. It's my outro oh, song. Okay. It's just, it goes, what? I just want to go to Burning Man and suck my own dick on a spaceship. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, but you ever uh, try and suck your own dick? No, and I've never Good been to Burning Man. Mm-hmm. It's a weird thing that that's been our outro song. Simon Rex made it, mm. and then we just kind of jumped in on it. We got in the studio, freestyled on it, made a couple songs. Marilyn but... Marilyn Manson supposedly had his uh, ribs taken out so he could suck his own dick. Sick. Did is 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 there any like? <laughs> facts to back that up because i've heard that rumor i've also heard the rumor that leonardo dicaprio wears He's airpods lying. when he has, has sex with women what <laughs> oh no, oh, no oh, way no, no. no way <laughs> uh bro it's not what it looks like i'm not trying to steal your money here. i'm not trying to steal There's you no, hey, all, no offense jeff but you can't you can't pay him more than i do <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to say it, but he's right. You yeah, no, I'm sure you guys are paid well over there. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I wouldn't anyway. These guys they, are fucking. Got... Their their lives are hell. Listen, uh, <laughs> congrats on the new baby, Sonny. You want to see him? Yeah, I would love to. Baby reveal. Thanks. This is oh, huge. Shit, this is wow. Cool. All those oh, members are coming over it. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm an opportunist, right, on, Ethan. I'm a fucking opportunist, <laughs> Cloud Yo, Chaser. don't swear in front of the baby. I'm, I'm here to support the show. He's not going to remember this. From I, this. He, it'll, you know, they, they pick up. up things, man. Oh, oh my God. Oh. An AB. Oh. Oh, oh my oh, God. Wow. Look at that. There's Sunny. Oh. It's He's just adorable. Sleepy baby. He sleeps a lot. I, I love it. I love the lives you guys have built for yourself, and now you set me up to start building one of my own. What's going on with that? We did mushrooms in Vegas together at the Sphere. It was phenomenal. It okay, was you saw, I don't see. Okay, that's nice to know. I don't want to. I don't want to. This is your guys' private relationship now. So I'm meeting her in, in Dubai and get in through you two yeah. weeks. Just save it for our show too. <laughs> We're meeting so up what, in Dubai. Are you guys in love? Are you meeting? I mean, love's a strong word, uh, Ooh. but maybe. Did you kiss her? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, they're on the beach when they kiss. You kissed on camera, dude. Where you been, around. bro? How long you been on Reddit? I was out on Reddit. Yeah, see, I'm keeping them. <laughs> I, I'm keeping them working. You know, at least they'll be sharp when they come back. There's, yeah, there's. They are still working, but uh, I, I make sure that they don't have too much fun over the break. Are you just itching to get back in there and talk about Aiden Ross and that guy that got a concussion and all the things that's been happening, the, the eclipse? Did you go out there and look at it? Wait, wait, wait. Who got a concussion? There's I been so much that. stuff happening in the world. and you know, Yeah, there's, just... there's a few things. There's um, some fucking, there's like a new hater video, which always comes out during break, which is pretty interesting. Oh, but a new... in, in, this, in this new Ethan Klein uh, video essay, he makes some really incredible claims. For example, that we did an NFT scam. You guys like that? <laughs> no <laughs> way. I we bought did like one. this whole crypto like, <laughs> project as a joke. One of the crypto coins was literally, I have a bridge to sell you because we're making fun of what a scam it is. And this dude say, this dude's going out there saying we did an NFT scam. Damn. And you can't even retaliate because you're on break. Yeah, I'll get him. I actually, I see those videos. <laughs> yeah, you will. I, I know you will. I believe I believe in you, Ethan. And I, if not, we'll get him. We'll go to his house, like the old days. Hey, if I don't get him, Cody will. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I kind of, like, I see those videos and I get scared. Like, I want to kind of stay where I'm at, 
like I'll tell Mike sometimes that I don't want to get views and he thinks you know, that's such a crazy thing because Mike's brain can't, can't comprehend. What do you mean you don't want to get views? And I'm like, I'm happy where doing? I'm at with my audience that's loyal and I just cruise under the radar and you get all the hate videos made on you because you're much bigger. Like Andrew Schultz gets so many hate videos on on him. They break down mm. everything about I've him. I noticed that. There's like a, there's an Andrew Schultz hate economy right now. Yeah, they're fun to watch. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, they are. They are kind of. I can't even hate. They are kind of fun. They are fun to watch. That's the thing. I watch all those dumb fucking drama. <laughs> <laughs> so when they when they make them about me, it's just like, okay, all right. You know what I mean? I, I don't get that. I don't get upset about it anymore. But they're Although not I as fun it. to watch when they're on you. No, they're not fun at all to watch. About yourself. Especially when they're accusing you of NFT scams to your audience, that which you lo love so much. But yeah, and I do what too. I do? Sign up to memberships. It's going great. <laughs> 70 videos. So, what, uh, so how's the interview going, guys? Have we learned anything? We're having a good time. Yes, we learned that we're very appreciative for you. Yes. Um, oh, good. Yeah. We love you. <laughs> they, they saw the bathroom. We saw the bathroom. Saw the bathroom. Oh, that's right. Y'all, dude, his staff works in a fucking bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I'd make it smaller if I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to do some... We're gonna have to do some construction in that bathroom to like maybe what we could do is install two stalls and each of them has to sit in the stall. <laughs> Why don't you build me a set in the office? You got space. Move some of that Teddy Fresh stuff over and just put a little bathroom set in there. Bro, you've got Okay, we'll see. We'll think about it. Let's merge. Let's join teams. Let's team up. I'll do yep, the prime yep, moving and you do the things. internet beef. <laughs> there you go. So what hold all on all though, angles. are you meeting Barisa? Yeah, I'm meeting her in Dubai. Fuck yeah. Because it's like halfway for us, and I got a job that's, out there. I'm doing some business with some Saudi Arabians. Get some of that coming. oil money. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Well, no, it's a it's like a fighting thing. It, you know, nowadays there's all these like influencer oh, right. fights. So karate in, combat. In Dubai. Yeah, it's it's called karate combat. The organization. It's actually pretty cool. It's like full on MMA, like UFC, but once it goes to the ground, they stand them back up. And they have a lot of oh. crypto influencers fighting in it. <laughs> and everybody oh tunes in for those. Like, they could have world-class martial artists it. fighting. But the... <laughs> yeah, you could, there you go. Crypto scammer, jump in there. <laughs> Damn, now you're just like the rest of them. Uh, just a lousy crypto scammer. Trust NFTs. me. NFTs. It's kind of nice, diet. I guess, if you've been punked by any of these crypto guys, watch them get their ass beat. But that would, that would if it's cool. in Dubai, I got to feel like there's fighting and shit. They, if they had to do it out there, like biting and eye gouging and all that fun stuff. No, it's a, there's a referee, you know, Aiden Ross set up where they just throw them in a fucking warehouse, let them bash each other's heads in. It's <laughs> okay, sanctioned. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Yeah, what else have I missed, though? Uh, Zach and AB, uh, there was a, something else, right? What happened? Um. Well, shout out to the person on Reddit. There's actually someone on our Reddit who's tracking what we're missing while we're gone. Oh yeah. And like oh, every day yeah. they update it, so that's yeah. gonna be a huge. We help should to just me. Go, we should just run through that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be our oh, show. Fuck. uh, fucking, uh Jimmy, Jimmy Lee was in the hospital. Oh, yeah, I wish, <laughs> wished him. Uh, I didn't think that I made wished the him well. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys. I messaged Jimmy. I said, I hope he's feeling better and he was um he gave me one short response Ooh. and i gotta say i think he's making progress oh what do you mean he well said, you guys are beefing buddy. right isn't he cut um, didn't you have to cut him off he, he's on he's ice. just he's on ice like are you saying fruit. ice too now because that i mean i thought that was my thing but no, that's cool you if you guys are Jeff, you're right, invented on no ice. that i invented ice i put people on ice Jeff no that's invented not... ice steven's on ice gentlemen. that's not you're on ice if you don't agree with <laughs> say yes yeah yes, man yeah that, that yeah is, I, that is a common expression no it's not he invented it listen all this shit i have to deal with you're stealing this from h3 you stole that soundbite from h3 finally what sound bites he's stealing what i didn't say that's not even on me you know maybe sometimes i'll be like rap we should have you smash his fucking head with a fucking crane by now. I'll have a talk with Kyle. That's a good point. You can look at all my, my hard drives. We should get some more of Ethan, too. Him saying all that stuff that he says. Yeah, by the way, I told both these guys, don't give up any any industry secrets. You know what I mean? We got to keep some stuff close to the vest here. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Secret sauce, yeah. baby. My boys, my boys. 
tight lips, okay? Don't uh, even try. You want to come to Dubai? Bring the fam? What if we threaten them? <laughs> Definitely. No? I think Dubai's cool. Fan. I'm happy for you that you guys are going. I, that's not a place I want to visit personally. We'll get you a paycheck. Don't get me started. Don't get me started yeah, on Dubai. Start. I'll ruin your trip. Don't ask me. <laughs> Should I not go? No, just I'm gonna get arrested out there, right? You get arrested for weed, I heard. I think with first they're pretty lenient because it's all about tourism there. So should I pack a couple joints in my bag? But my, my, my problem is that it's like they have literal slaves there. So I should not go. No, you can go. Lots of people go to Dubai. I don't want that's what I'm saying. Don't ask don't ask me what I think about that place. What if I can help that situation? What if I'm the guy that <laughs> you gonna free them? You Documentary. Can free the slaves, my friend. Oh, man. Yeah. Yo, Mike, You're I can't like, I can't get to that burger review. I gotta free the slaves out here. That'd be that'd be a good man. doc. You kinda look like Abraham Lincoln. Do I? Or, or like a modern Moses. <laughs> oh, I mean like Khabib, not Abe Lincoln. Huh? Say Khabib. The Joker trailer comes out tonight. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? That's pretty cool. Are you excited for that? The Joker trailer? Sure, yeah. I've been looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for it. I... He has to shoot me in the head on this show live. Because I, I, we would need to be live. Yeah. You'd be okay probably... with that? I wouldn't have a choice. You got to bring us back, though. We want to do it the first time. Yeah, yeah I was hoping time. it would be one of you guys. Take okay. me out. You bird this show, and now take it out. You know that, that Ethan. You know you, that Fuck okay, that. Ethan. Bird this Fuck show. <laughs> we were going to flip the desk over at the end of the episode. Flip I the desk. Do a Mike May that. Flip that bit. <laughs> yeah. Did, did we talk about that? I I had followed it. How was you guys made up? Your team, good. Mike, was, right? Dogs over parents. Wait, hold on. Am I team Mike? Yeah. I think I think this oh what what's what's the dude's name who went after Mike? Don't matter. Oh, what's, uh, what's your name? Weather boy. I'm Ryan. Ryan. Mustache Ryan. man. <laughs> so Ryan, let me ask you, how do you do you feel that you handled that situation uh, uh correctly? <laughs> no, I, I already came in and apologized <laughs> to him. You know, I I did go overboard, but I was harboring a lot of uh anger. For like months, I could tell months you, I mean, yeah. dude, I remember when I was in there last time, your dad had passed away and, and it seemed very raw. I just felt very, I felt very, um, empathetic for you. I felt very sorry for your loss. And Mike, obviously he just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's what it was. Yeah, so, and you ever have that, you ever have that happen in one of your early live streams? Because that was only our third one. <laughs> you guys had a few beefs early on, I'm sure, right? Some fights break out. No, not really. Or well, we've uh, we've had some. What do you guys think? I, Zach and AB had some fights back in the day over the chair. That was fun, but nobody one fights of the, anymore. Like, the most heated, awkward, like actual holy shit. This shit's real. Because I had a moment like that. Fuck I was like, you, bro. Oh. Fuck, should I be mad at Mike? Or should does he think I set this whole thing up? Does he think that I fed Ryan that script? Did you, you know there's I, a there's a lot going on? I took a full <laughs> no, I didn't control. feed him the script. He, he went off book for that. No, nah, I was angry, yeah. I don't think I'm but Ryan, um I think if someone makes fun of your recently deceased father, then you get to go you get to say whatever you want to them. Yeah, that's how I felt. However, Ryan, I next, turned, Mike when he was this accurate? Mike says that everybody was joking about it, and he was just tagging along. Of course, that. that is not accurate. And it just <laughs> also looked like we were in here bullying him, like a bunch of guys <laughs> laughing around him. What happened was I was doing a bit that had nothing to do with it. When I called in, I had it had nothing to do with my dad. And then Jeff transitioned out of the bit, and he was like, hey, I know you've been dealing with like a lot. And I was like, oh, this is a weird transition. And so then we transitioned out of the bit. And then we were talking about my dad. And Jeff was in the middle of, like, being like, well, you know, he's looking down on you, like, all this stuff. And then in the middle of that, Jeff, or Mike just goes, yo, I've got an out at six. No, he, he Can I just go? He, yeah. Or, like, when are we wrapping this up? And I was like, I know that now in retrospect it was a joke. But in the moment, I was like, it's I couldn't tell up. if it was real or not. And I was like. He's such a piece of shit. That's fucked What the up. fuck? They're, fuck him. Damn. Yeah. And then like the, these lives, yeah. man. That, that reminds me of uh, before I started, they had Bobby Leon and he was talking about his dad passing and Ethan was messaging Dan in the discords. 
<laughs> so it. sorry to interrupt. So, we gotta go to break. Yeah, interrupt him or something. I wasn't there, so I don't know the full story. But Dan, <laughs> like Bobby Leach is spilling his heart out, and then Dan just cuts him off like mid sentence. He's like, "I'm so sorry. We gotta go to break." Yeah, and Bobby was pissed. Sometimes you gotta take that risk. It's true. Sometimes it is one got... of the greatest moments in podcast history. So <laughs> it's like here's the here's the problem. Giant balls with Bobby yeah. Lee. It was great. With QT Cinderella, it wasn't great. Right? Yeah, we we flew too yeah. high. Bobby Lee, you could pretty much do whatever to. I remember when we first met him at Tim Dillon's house. Stephen showed him his dick right in the first like three seconds that he met him, which is a wild move to make. It's yeah. a crime. You know, you know. But Bobby loved it. He was like, "You guys are fucking nuts. You this guy that you have a. I don't even want to get into detail, but we out Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. Yeah." Yeah, that's what first yeah. time. First time I met him, he's like he told me I look like low rent Jason Momoa, and then slaps him in the back of my head as hard as he could. Steven did that? No, Bobby Lee. <laughs> oh, I was like Steven fucking bullied you. He looks like he would be a bully when I'm not around. Like that's how he acts. No, 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 Bobby, Bobby. Who's yeah, I could Steven see Bobby. Huh? Who's Steven? He's the he's... guy that made fun of your Tourette's in the barber shop. Yeah, he's that's a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, which which season? He's like bald. He's Remember on the barber shop? He was on the recliner. They made fun of your Tourette's. Oh bald. yeah. Oh, he's a good. I like him. He's sweet. Yeah, he, he went for it. Talk? He went for it with that joke. <laughs> yeah, and he went for it with Bobby Lee too. Oh, I like him. Nice. I like him. He's fun. I'm on Team Steve. Yeah, ride that line. Let's see how far we can take it without crossing it. And sometimes we cross it, and we hit the button. You are you working on that button or not yet? We're saving up for it. Yeah, that's a big. Yeah. big it's a big purchase, but you know, uh, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. better get it fast before yeah. those Jeff with those videos start coming out. Yeah, oh, that is yeah. the best investment ever. Yeah, like, even today, like when no, <laughs> when they posted about us going live, Dan was uh, we were talking about it with Dan. And he was like, "You guys got this. You guys do lives all the time. You're fine." Don't stress yeah. it. And I'm like, but we don't got a fucking. We didn't know this was going to be live. Yeah, we didn't know it was going to be live. Oh, for... oh, yeah. I'm trying to fucking st steal all that audience right yeah. now. <laughs> I don't want to be live. I would have loved to pre-record this. Yeah. But I want them members, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kyle. Yeah. There we go. Yo, be it's more getting subtle. too real. More subtle. Too, it's getting too real. They're now there's a the whole family's around. And it's, they're realizing what I'm doing is somehow no, no, not no, a no. joke. And... I need to say something. Any audience members of ours watching, please understand that a membership on Jeff's show is a complete waste. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I uploaded all my Patreon videos. There's all Jeff, please, let me continue. Mm -hmm. You'll be getting an extra episode in the studio every week. We've upgraded. We've uh, expanded. And people are raving about our members-only Hang up. Yeah. Show. Okay. Access, hang up. Yeah. Okay. Hang up. Okay. Access to Discord, hang up. BTS for members. Hang up. Hang up on yeah, the TV. Yeah. 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 Really Ethan. He's gone. <laughs> all right. That's it. Bro, that members are shit. We put all our Patreon videos we've been making for years on there. Damn. There's fucking gold. It's like we dropped the Netflix. <laughs> Oh, it's basically yeah, like we just yeah. dropped our own competitor to Netflix. That's crazy. I was watching those videos and I was like, damn, these are so good. If I would have just posted these on YouTube, I would be Mr. Beast right now. So let, crazy. let me ask you on Patreon. Can you hang Dong on there? Yeah. Nah. Or... Nah? Nah, we That's tried. Then. You <laughs> can't? You hang Dong on there? Well, well, you, not, you, you, uh, can't, you can, but you get put in a different category. Oh, okay. Kind of like Shadow Band in a weird way. Yeah, just go to OnlyFans if you're going to do that. Yeah. You know, I I tried doing like some thirst trap things, like just whatever to keep them happy, see what they wanted. Mm. And but then the reps like, mm. they're yeah, they're like, nah, he can't do that. And then Steven, we tried to get him some extra cash. You know yeah. how they said like AB will make content. Steven started an OF, started showing that dick on there for like cash. Mm. Nice. And it just didn't. We didn't <laughs> get the numbers bucks. we expected. Yeah, it only made two hundred. <laughs> and was that know. a pity? Yeah. You hang and on, and I take fifty percent <laughs> of that. So. He only wow. left a hundred. <laughs> Those are Aiden Ross numbers. You hang dog? What do you Team mean? Team 10 Just shit. Over here. On Patreon, you hang dog? Nah. Mm. Should I? Fuck it, why not? We, right. we don't hang down, but we do have good memberships. Yeah. Joe All Rogan right. actually emailed us recently and said, I'm glad that I signed up. Damn. Wow. And yeah. he's the, like, like, go. Yes, Who? I am gay. Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's goaded with the sauce yeah. and the. Man. I, I, yeah. On why Spotify. Yeah. I've heard of him. I never heard of him.
Fuck, this is bonkers. <laughs> Should we just uh, actually play that Aiden Ross video? Because I want to see yeah, what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm an expert on Aiden Ross. We just did a content corner. I feel yeah. bad, we, though, we, though, that we, we hung up, actually. I just... <laughs> we got to cut the naturist, though. Oh, okay. Can we say sorry? All right, guys, real quick. Today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. It's festival season. There's tons of concerts, festivals, sports, live shows. Everything's going on. And the best place to find tickets for these events is on SeatGeek. We are going to Coachella this weekend. I'm not proud of it, but you know what? I got a good deal on my ticket because I use SeatGeek and I use my promo code Jeff. So I got myself $20 off. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With artists like Noah Kahan, Drake, and Bad Bunny on tour, you're not going to want to miss out. And SeatGeek puts all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. And each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. <laughs> Insane. Unbelievable, these SeatGeek deals. And you know what came through for you guys? Use my code Jeff for $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Jeff. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. All right, thank you, SeatGeek. Now let's get back on with the show. We're back. No, I've, I've always wanted to be involved in YouTube somehow, and I really got lucky with the crew that uh, I got hired with because it wasn't an easy transition for me coming from where I'm from and then getting used to L.A. and just online life. It was a lot at once, so I'm thankful to have Ethan and the crew. It was They made the transition a lot easier. Yeah, I never thought about that for you guys. It was tough. It's a lot being thrown into that lines, though, of just like having people criticize you for fucking everything. Right. Is that sort of why it was Ian who left, or... Not yet. Ian, someday, though. No, I'm Cam, no, those, Cam left. Cam, yeah. Was Cam. Uh, is that it sort was... of why he left? No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We love Cam. He's uh, he's on to greener pastures. Yeah. Yeah. That was a joke about Ian, just for the H3 crew. You dick. No, <laughs> I mean for the H3 fans. Doesn't there make a bunch of Reddit posts? Wait, is Ian actually leaving? He's not leaving. Um, I think he's going to blow up one day. I actually believe in him. He's very talented. If you start hanging dong. Okay. Who, me? Yeah. No, I don't want it. I don't want that anymore. We've matured past that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a no, I don't want to hang now. No more showing our dicks. Even Bobby Lee. Nobody. How did you guys meet? Um, I used to film for a different YouTuber, and then I came over. No, here. I scouted him. And then he really? couched. No, you I saw a day. video of him on Twitter where he got canceled because he was making fun of girls. He was making fun of women he on Twitter. Him. Girls on Twitter. It was a specific <laughs> yeah. video. Yeah. Like right. what? What? Like what about? What specifically? <laughs> yeah, what do you hate about? What do you hate about women? <laughs> Jesus. And it also makes me look bad too. Like even the way I set it up. It, like if that's why I, what I liked about you, uh, then I look like a piece of shit too. So we better get us out of this hole. We gotta get ourselves. It was 2019, and uh, oh, dark, dark time. It was like I was just going after like SJWs, and I was like, I was trying to, I was just trying to get a rise. I was trying to get attention. I was, you got his attention. I yeah. like, guess it worked. It did. Mm -hmm. It did. I thought I was like, this guy's really funny, and he commits, and he does not give a oh fuck God, about getting canceled. Me. And I love that about him, especially at that time. Now it's loosening up. Everybody's uh, like, they'll take riskier jokes. Like Ethan was saying, you know, sometimes you yeah. know you just gotta fucking gotta go, go for, for it. it. It was and a bad. He video. would always go for it. It's a bad would... video though. I hate women so much. No, the video much. was funny, and then <laughs> it was it was it was lazy, is what I mean. It was a lazy video. What what's like the no go for you? Where will you stop? <laughs> Uh, what's your what's cat? the line <laughs> yeah what's the line well anti-semitism hmm. or you know. if it's funny enough you know what i mean <laughs> if it's funny enough, make a jew joke right now let's have mercy well, well right now the right now <laughs> let's, let's let him enjoy his week <laughs> are you going to coachella no okay <laughs> nice. controlled by Jew. your weekend's about Zach, to be you spell okay, your name. there you go <laughs> you spell your name with a k right h h yeah oh Zach. Right. That's Zatch. the better way. Yeah. Why is it done like that? But, but Ask my parents. I don't fuck with the K shit, to be honest. Yeah. Any any person I meet spelled named Zach with a K, I'm just like, what's your fucking problem? Yeah. Yeah. But that's just, it seems like that's how it should be spelled, no? Or I I don't it's I mean you've been living with it your whole life and you have I didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. I was born this way. Yeah, if I if I was named Your Jeff, name should be spelled G E O F F. Fuck that. I'd pull a Chris <laughs> Benoit on my whole family. I'd fucking <laughs> Bro, my sister's name's Karen. Uh, She's, what the fuck? Her, her life is miserable because oh, of that. No. Karen? She, she had to become a purple belt in jiu-jitsu just to beat up guys talking shit to her. 
Wow. And she actually hits them now when they're like, Karen. Where you going, Karen? Yeah. Your parents got two meme names. I know. My mom. My name is Jeff and fucking That's crazy, Karen. Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, how do you spell it? Jay time. with a J. No, but like. G- well, my family would be dead. G E F F. Um, J E F F R E Y. Yeah. No G. No, I don't know where that came from. But it's cool. <laughs> we were just trying little... to get off topic. I was giving him some time to come up with this joke, and now he should have it ready. To He's deliver. quick. That was All funny. Right. The Coachella thing. He, he snuck no, it I already, in. Yeah. Yeah. I already did my Jew joke. Yeah. Oh, they said, are you going it? to Coachella? And I said, I'm I'm not going to that. It's ran by Jews. But honestly. Let me see. Let me, let me just say. <laughs> Shut the fuck I, up. Let him say, talk. No, no, no. Because we're going to go down with him now. <laughs> what? I gave him a pass? Let me talk. On the H3 podcast, we embrace everyone. That's why we have a Jewish man here and a Muslim man and yeah. an Arab and a, a Jewish man here. And I'm, we, uh, we're, we're, uh, we embrace solving everyone. the conflict. Yeah. Right? We need a woman. <laughs> right. We need a woman on the team here. That's what we're missing. There's too much. Yeah. Just toss No, not, not even. Yeah, she'd be great. She's got great ideas. You know, she's the one who told me to make the bachelor promo code for the products. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that was cool. That worked out good. So she just, she actually is what she said she was in her initial video. You have your, you have women on the product side. Yeah, yeah, but I mean more like in the studio with us. So like, do you not want any women in here? No, I was just trying. To, I was trying to save him. I was trying to save him. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just act so different when there's a woman present, and yeah. I try to do these shows like if my mother was present in the room, so yeah. I wouldn't say anything that I wouldn't be yeah, yeah. comfortable with her hearing, which I do fuck up on a lot. Even yeah, yeah. that right now, just her, just cursing, she'd be mad at. But what about when Tana's here? Oh, anything goes. Okay. Uh, tell my mom skip those, skip the Tana <laughs> ones. No, we were all uh, guys at first. Well, there was Ela, obviously, but yeah. it was I was the fourth hire on the crew. It was Zach and then me. Your ears getting hot? A little bit. Not switched... not bad. Yeah, I was telling Jeff my ears get hot when I wear over your headphones, but actually it's not too bad. I have rosacea of the face, so kind of. Is yeah. is that why there's Aquaphor all over the office? Uh, that's something else. <laughs> uh, no, that's uh... that's Kim. He don't know shit about the Aquaphor that. Aquaphor was because there. Cam got a tattoo, I think. Uh, wait, what are you, thought, what are you talking about? Oh, and maybe like rub them down. Uh, Aquaphor is like a yeah, yeah. You know, I think everybody knows what it is. It's like a skin repair yeah, treatment, yeah. like a lotion or you, like a Vaseline. Use it type for of. my swamp ass sometimes. Do you? Yeah. Because I've seen that shit all over you guys. Is uh, yeah, I don't. There's a lot of Aquaphor things. I was wondering, <laughs> is somebody dealing with a condition, skin condition. I don't know. Or a rash? I haven't noticed. <laughs> Somebody have a rash over no, there? No, when Ethan, when he got his tattoos, he was rubbing it on his tattoos. Oh, yeah. that might be why it was out mm-hmm. and fresh. Yeah, but it's great for swamp ass. Yeah, yeah. good to that know. That sounds like a nightmare. You know what I'm talking about, right? Mm-mm. You don't get swamp ass? Uh, I'm, not, I'm yeah. <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys excited for this, this yeah, Joker this, movie? It's, it's coming out. Yeah, let's trailer. see Aiden Ross. Let's get to the Aiden stuff. be enough to cut mouth holes in their masks like a thin layer of fabric was stopping them from talking they look like that meme but even though ksi was threatening to sue aiden if he put on his event he's like did you forget that i'm jewish and by default that gives me a legal advantage over you True. so he went on to put on his boxing event anyways but if you want to have people in tuxedos and shit went outside my warehouse and serve me fucking paperwork that is that is just gay bro oh yeah flat out gay it is he's gay right shit, bro but hey <laughs> Do your own thing. I'm so smart. So I'm Jewish, bro. You got to fight with my Jewish Way lawyers. different you, shell you over here. Shitty ass lawyers are not going to mind. This Let's man go. is the now future of entertainment <laughs> right here. This is the, that's the next president this of the man United is, States of America. The this this man is the future of fucking up a lot of kids' about. future careers. Yeah. He already because has. They talk this way. He talks this way. They think it's okay to talk this way. They're going to say some shit online, and their whole future is going to be fucked because they want to watch this guy gamble. He's like every every Bradley Martin commenting in it, trying to get a little fucking. And Jewish lawyers are all cloud off this. Yeah, He's been acting more like Mike lately. Tunnels, ready with uh-huh. and I know I'm making jokes. He's like every kid I went to Hebrew school with. <laughs> so this is the uh, concussion. It came out that one of the boxes. Oh, there's a ref. So wait, isn't this where Aiden lives? Isn't this his, the, the compound? The guy. Yeah, it's a warehouse in Miami. Yeah. I would I would have done one of these, but also again the eye stuff, you know. Miami man. Update about the boxing event. Thank you. So guys, said, the I Florida think... Commission, the board basically, I play. I'll talk um, because of our last event, um, one of those fat f***s got like brain damage and complained. <laughs> How do they complain? But, like the, the, um, the what's it called? The sank the 
The fucking commission. They basically got mad. Back. Someone should check him for brain damage because <laughs> he's already had like three boxing events, but still doesn't know the name of the organization that allows him to put them on. He only knows them by the commission, the Florida Athletic Commission. That's like me going, yeah, I think I upload videos on the on the tube, on the About fucking it. tube. And they but let you do anything in Florida. That's why yeah, yeah, I that's why the Crater the Club. Crater so getting banned for the, from the commission in Florida, you got to yeah. do some really fucking right, right. wild shit. Point. Miami, man. Yeah, anything goes down there. That so, is insane. Damn, I was, I was trying to get in on one of those. I was trying to get... Because Aiden is like... You know, I, I have uh, friends yeah. that you guys aren't always going to mesh with. And that's yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's fine. How am I dick riding him? But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, like, I was just in Vegas, and I was gambling with Aiden, and we were talking about doing a fight. I'm just like, you know, I'll hop in there, you know, give yeah. me the right guy, give me a Sneeko or something, and I'll fucking pop in Ooh. there. I, that, my eye won't yeah. be in any, in any uh, danger, danger yeah. in that situation. All he does is just those jabs. Or just I, fight Aiden, teach him a lesson. Uh, I don't know if that'd be I, a way to go bad. about I it. I think it's, it's weird, because when we... When I prep this content core on him, I don't know if you're familiar. Sort of, do you ever watch like Idubs' content cop? On yeah, people? it's sort of like that. That's I sort of ripped it off from him. It's, oh, it's a show that dude. I came up with, Content Core. Yeah, and so we did one on Aiden recently because people kept requesting it. And like even watching all the like crazy shit he said and done, like I feel like deep down he's like, I'm gonna get shit for this, but I feel like there's good in there and in, inside mm -hmm. of him. I feel like he was at a point where he had two paths and um, he was going through a lot and like he like went through a breakup and like uh, he got kicked off of Twitch. All this shit was happening at once and he had like two paths. Hassan and Ethan were really trying to help him and give him advice. And then yeah. there was Andrew Tate who like swooped in and was like, you know, using him for his numbers and to boost like Hustlers University. And unfortunately... He went the tape path, and then yeah. I feel like everything just came after that. Mike lives with him, so Mike and him are really tight. Yeah, and Mike would always reach out to him. They mm. still have a good relationship. He even asked him to come to the Dubai thing because these guys okay. they were like, "We'll give you fucking three hundred grand." And Aiden just left left him on scene. Oh, he's just making so much yeah, money yeah. that he's like, "I play that in a blackjack hand." You right. Want to fly to Dubai for this? Right. He's just yeah, but that doesn't make it okay to do whatever. He, I don't know. I don't know all the bad stuff. Yeah, yeah. Didn't I gotta watch Content a, Court. Didn't he just get into an argument with Tate? Did, Did he? he? Oh, because he, oh, he ratted him out. He ratted right? him out. Yeah. yeah. I'd be pissed at that, even if that was a, a slip up, you know. Oh, yeah. No, but it, it wasn't even that. It was like um, like Tate was telling him to like work out or something. He's like, I don't need to do something. That, uh, it might not be the working out. You're out of shape like, for a 21-year-old. It was like um, telling him how to handle his money or something like that. But he's like making so much money that he's like, mm. yeah. why would I care? Yeah. <clears throat> My voice totally just cracked. Excuse me. Sorry, right. we'll edit it out. <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna have to delete this one. Um, yeah. No, damn, we missed all that during the ad, right? When I said all those nice things about Ethan. What a shame. You want to say it again? We did say some nice things. No, but it's 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 crazy how all those compliments about Ethan were said during the ad. Do the members not see the ad? Is that how it goes? Or no? Everybody sees no, this it. This is this is live. Oh, so damn, it's for real. Whatever. I'll see him again sometime. Um, all right. Well, that's it for the show, right? Is there anything else you guys want to get into? Should we go for another 10? How long have we been going? Yeah. So, do you have any trivia? I feel like we've been at it for uh, an hour. Dude, we go three hours and 30 minutes. Oh, so we got to do another half hour at least. You guys cool with that? Fuck yeah. I'll dude. go all day. We got some callers and stuff we could yeah, yeah. Yeah. call yeah. in. I'm, I don't got nothing. I'm on break. All right. I'm yeah. I'm chilling. Fuck it, I don't have anything either. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm just waiting to go to Coachella. Yeah, let's let's stream until Coachella. And I'm not buying no nice outfits. I feel like it's, I feel like I'm gonna try to purposely dress the worst I've ever dressed. I mean, I, I might just go in like gym gym clothes. Fuck it, that'd be that'd fucking, be sick. That would be. Would it? What about yeah. like some jeans? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I just pictured you like in gym clothes taking picture sure. at Coachella, yeah, and everyone's like, "Whoa!" Just wearing. A you don't care. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I don't understand the expensive clothes thing, especially for shoes going to Coachella. Like when Mike wore his fucking fragment Travs to Coachella, and he wears them every day. Fuck. I think that's up. just his everyday shoe, though. <laughs> we don't know anything more. Yeah. You should wear an outfit like James Charles, like the ass chaps. Yeah, show yeah, your ass. Hanging out. No. Ah, uh, that's what I want. I want to go. I want to go the exact Jim opposite Shorts. route. <laughs> Put it in and your mouth. He's too old. 
And yeah. what's the point? What am I going there to hook up with chicks? Not no more. It's old me. Probably closer to grandma. I'm taking man, chicks. dude. Yeah. How you feel about that? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Happy for you. <laughs> yeah. I got nothing else going on. You know. Let's have a caller call in. Or we're oh, going to do a. Let's do the game and then we'll get the caller. You should. Oh, don't show him that though. What? Uh, only you guys can see it right now. Oh, okay. What's the game? Five questions. H three trivia. Oh shit. Okay, so I scan this code. Uh, yeah. Or you can put a loot game it. pin. But just make sure you hide that game pin. Don't say. Don't say it out loud like Ethan did. Yeah, exactly. So I put my real name. What is his nickname? Yeah, however you want to be identified as. And then Jeff and Fan members can play at home through the chat. Pin is twelve, one. No, no. That was just a little fun joke. <laughs> it's a little fun. The actual pen. All right, I'm in. El Jefe. What'd you just put a number? <laughs> number? Code? I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Yo, you're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> no, you oh, just leaked it, bro. Did it's I not... really? <laughs> yeah, it's not live yet. It's not live yet. I'm waiting for you guys to join. Oh wait, hold Change on. Change that shit, I'm Ryan. I'm trying. <laughs> you're it. Okay. For for the viewers, Ryan just put what... his username as the main. So oh man. I don't know how to fix that. Bro, we're gonna you're fuck so up on so many things. Yeah, I I mess. I try to put. Questions. I try to put my name as <laughs> Killer on Twitch because I'm. Can I? I was oh, gonna yeah. plug my shit too. Yeah, it didn't fit. <laughs> X me out. Okay, there you go. Sorry. We're gonna leak so much dumb shit and make so many mistakes doing these lives but i love it i it's love worth it, it. Yeah, how do you feel now you're more comfortable with it yeah i'm yeah. more comfortable with it i did them for a while on patreon i've been doing them for years so i'm like used to talking to a small audience yeah but just hitting that live on youtube yeah. for the first time was really fucking something scary yeah i hated live care, at first we used to care so much yeah. with edits when it came down to the barbershop we'd be in there like oscar and i would put in like 30 hours before then kyle came in we'd be on yeah. these edits for a whole fucking week that's crazy i mean they were really good i remember that's where i first they got shitty watching. though after a really? while though we stopped caring but yeah i mean the live i think the live aspect <laughs> is is more fun i love the oliver tree barbershop oh yeah i hate the fucking guy but all right we got yeah we got the game going now he's he yeah you gotta you gotta kind of know him. in what year did ab first appear on the h3 podcast i'm getting shapes 2001 oh. 2019 2020 or 2021 i'm gonna go i got that do i say it out loud i'm gonna you go 2019 the quicker you are the more points you get you were definitely there before covid Fuck, we both answer was 2020 i got hired during covid you got hired right during covid I was, yeah I was, damn yeah. and then did they shut down or did you guys do no, we still did episodes. I actually took my unemployment like COVID check and bought like a setup to stream, and that's Ethan enter that stream. Oh, you got a stimulus check? Yeah, I got Stimmy? a stimulus. Yeah, nice. I, I was broke, man. I was like, my account was like in the negative. All Damn. Right. Ethan saved my life. Next one. Uh, he's my Jack Dawson. <laughs> Who was the first guest, uh, first podcast guest posted on YouTube uh, of the H3 podcast? Um, definitely not Tana. Tana Mongo. Uh, will? probably. I'm gonna go, go to Phil, Franco. probably. No, it's, it's like they have a relationship. It's, it's and yellow. It can't be. Yellow. Who, who the fuck even is that? Justin uh, Royland. He Fun fact: him. I think I think it's Rick. none of these, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Damn. You're wrong. Well, it's not your fault. It's, I don't, I don't know if it's public. Oh, the first one. Yeah, I think the first one was someone else, but it took a while to to edit or something. Oh, so you made all these quite. Oh my god. Where is Ethan Klein born? Quick, Jeff. Um. Damn, it's 8485 uh 84 i'm gonna go with older Fuck. correct answer is 85. Oh, like yep. three damn, that guy's a fucking chameleon he just three changes every than mike. fucking day it's you crazy guys, he's you younger guys got than mike right? yeah. yeah all right we got zach in first place damn it which of the following is the most viewed h3 podcast episode the one where i went down <laughs> Jack and no. david dobrik new footage for enemies shane dawson i hope it's not mine episodes <laughs> horrible if that is let's no, go know. with me let's it... correct answer what? was shane dawson episode. thank god i thought it was post malone and joji nobody watch it if, the, if that's what you're thinking <laughs> just, just well you had the most live viewers yeah that was yeah that was live yeah. viewers. I'm so sorry that you went through that, but me and Trisha were having a beef at the time, and a lot of her audience fucking hated me and our audience. So 
I appreciate you shifting the focus to you at oh, that point. Oh, that's what happened? Yeah. You took the spotlight? Yeah, Jeff took the spotlight from me, okay. which I'm very happy for. Oh, did I? Yeah, I mean, because I was getting a lot of shit for some shit, some dumb shit I said, but, uh, yeah. Bro, when she said the lake in Utah, and nobody had known anything, and I've been lying about it, just telling fucking jokes, mm -hmm. stories about it the whole time. That was, yeah. That shit was like, okay, Ethan. I gotta fucking go. <laughs> <No>. like, <laughs> she shit. brought the heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she that took balls some... of you to do that, though. To I was just fucking high as fuck on drugs. <laughs> I was on a bunch of pain meds. I would do a bunch of podcasts with my eyes stitched closed and just wear sunglasses. And people wouldn't know. All right, final question. Who's A.B. Starkella? Which one of the following has not appeared on the H3 podcast? I thought, <laughs> what the fuck? I thought Marquez you were... Brownlee. I never... I never see you guys really have any uh, African American guests on there. Oh, whoa, Jesus whoa, Christ. whoa! <laughs> What's the deal with that? Is that uh, Ethan's choosing? <laughs> we do. What are you talking about? We've had your uh, boxing coach. We've had Wally. Yeah, we've had Eric Andre three years ago. Oh, you had Eric Andre? Okay, <laughs> he's half. And I booked him. That was like one of my like first gets. Did you really? And oh, I you... remember everyone was like, "Fuck, you did it! Like fucking awesome!" Yeah, yeah, yeah that's huge. You must. Be... I'm gonna watch that episode. That's great. Uh, okay. But we don't have this. guests, like, commonly anyways, uh, for the past two years. Like, Ethan hasn't been into it. And I feel like way. a lot of black guys don't want to do podcasts. I don't know about that. <laughs> I thought you were just uh, AB. Why are you AB Starkiller? Oh, that's my Twitch username. But I mean... I'm opportunistic. You made two... You made two accounts for this? Huh? No, the first one didn't... No, it You're didn't. cheating? He's trying to plug his shit. <laughs> like, if I, if I would want to like, get, a like, a podcast guest... I would want like Bruce uh, Buffer. No, I don't Bruce Buffer. <laughs> no, don't. You know the Bruce Buffer situation, right? It's, it's not bringing it back up. Um, I would love to have Pusha T on because he stole mm. fucking drugs for real, mm. and then he's one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, he'd be great. Jay Z. Jay Z would be cool. And I can't just name only rappers, right? Um, you want? Are you talking African American? Yeah. You want yeah. Chris Darden, the guy that? Uh... In the OJ trial? Oh, I would love the guy. No, I don't need. <laughs> I would love the guy from Curb. Leah, uh, uh, Leah. JB Smooth. Oh, he was on yeah. Stern, I think, recently. Was he? Uh, yeah. He's so funny. Yeah, he is funny. He's He makes the fuck, or he made this last season. Yeah. 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 I just watched it because he told me to. I, I just binge watched it. Um, Crazy, it's done. Did you like the ending? Um, Yeah. I thought much. it was good. It's needed to happen. You can't. How do you end the show? How do you yeah, end a show like that? He ended you know it like I mean? Seinfeld. Yeah. So, yeah. Poor he, Richard. He Lewis, predicted man. it. Yeah. He predicted it. He was like, I think they're all. I think he's gonna end up in jail at the yeah. end of it. And then I was watching. I was like, Did this motherfucker spoil? Oh wait, we're losing the game. We gotta get back to it. Reconnect. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, it's, no, over. it's over. It's, it's over. only five questions. Okay. Who won? Oh, that was it. You won. won. Yeah. Ab Zach. I'm still the Ryan. reigning H3 simp. <laughs> we did a simp off years ago. Oh, was it just all trivia questions like that? Yeah, it was me and the. The other fan who got hired, love, or coworker from Sweden. Fan. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm saying we're both fans that got hired. Oscar, none of my buttons work here. You weren't a fan. What, what yeah, you I was a fan. Nah. But I wasn't Chat like he, or... this motherfucker like defended Ethan uh, and like went on a whole. Uh... The, you're you're hitting it. It's just like not <laughs> like an actual sim. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. But Zach, you're part of the like it was you, you, Dan, Ian, like day one. Right? Yeah, we were uh, we were there. We were oh, in nice. our first office together. And I was a bright-eyed twenty-one year, twenty-year-old. Hold on, you're always my favorite. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah. Should we hug? Wait, a I'll hug you. Yeah. What about Beyonce as a podcast guest? That'd be huge. If you can get her. Yeah. Who books? Who books your guests? We just do it. I just ask Tana to come on every week because it's easy. She'd be like, "I'll give you some vapes. I got some vapes over here. Pay her in substances. You know, it's great." <laughs> Sometimes it's better vibe than just the friends, you know, rather than a guest. I mean, guests Wait, are cool sometimes. Hold on, what but... was who was that coughing, Kyle? Uh, I think I just grabbed it from TikTok like last year. That's but it's we're supposed to be Tana. Sounds like a Tana cough, huh? <laughs> She's cleaned her act up a lot. I got to give her credit. She's actually been sober, killing it on tour. Good for her. And that's what we want to do. That's why we're doing the lives, because mm -hmm. we want to do live shows. That's the goal. At a great time at yours. Yeah. Tana, not so much. <laughs> but... Tana was going to... She... Tana is so sweet. Um, when she was asking me for alcohol, because I was asking if everyone's okay, 
<laughs> and then I kind of walked to the side. I'm like, give me a drink. Tana, <laughs> you guys were on stage. I'm like, Tana's asking for more alcohol. And everyone's more. like, no, did not give it to her. Yeah. And then I went up to her and I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't think I could bring you alcohol. She's like, if you don't bring me alcohol, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really don't care. I'm like, okay. That's um, another thing that you guys are getting thrown into now. It's not just live shows. Now you're in the Dolby yeah, Theater yeah, yeah. where they do the Oscars and yeah. you're up on stage. Yeah. And you're yeah. performing in there, crushing it. Thank you, brother. Kill that. Appreciate show. that. P uh, hardcore yeah. panic attack the night before, but you know that's fine. Did you? Yeah, I didn't sleep the whole fucking night. Really? I was just pacing my room for fucking hours. You got to try those that breathing stuff. I that tried that, off. and I've done performances before. Played at the fucking Hollywood Bowl. So you just fucking shot a whiskey. I don't know how you do it, Zach. I would have a panic attack. I did. Well, you performed well. And you did it. And you crushed it. Yeah, Look, you had nothing you. to worry Appreciate about. That. Everyone crushed it except for Tana. <laughs> no, she's she's crushing her show now, and she does that so effortlessly. She's a yeah. fucking pro. Good for her. And she reads really good. She reads. <laughs> reads good. She reads ads for right? a woman. <laughs> for a woman. Yeah. I, I I can't read for. I mean, I can read. I can't read well though. I hate reading. Yeah. Whenever we would go around in school, in elementary school, Shh, I fucking worse. hated that shit. Yeah, please don't call me. Fucking don't call me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I, I loved it. Of course you would. Yeah, I know. What's your favorite novel? <laughs> My favorite book, like, of all time? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Much, uh, no. Uh, you don't have to be Buddhist to know about nothing. Mm. Nice. It's a book about nothing. Wow. It's pretty good. If you had to remove uh one of the members of the H3 crew, <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask this fucking question. Who would it be? Is this fucking a hot seat? You uh, have to take one out. Oh, that's cool. We need one of those. It's a good input. Oh, who, you who want... set that up? Me. I like that. Oh, one. you got something to say? You want to chime in? I'll let Zach go first. No, <laughs> of course you. you will, fucker. Let me put it back on Zach. Um, that works nice, Oscar. There's one right yeah, answer. That's cool. Uh, real, I, make it real. I get rid of myself. Oh, that's gonna be my. That's gonna be my answer, <laughs> bastard. No, oh no, I'm not. I'm not I can't answer that. I love everyone equally. I Come can on. tell you right now who I get rid of. <laughs> Damn. No. You put the light on him. Giant Cody. Balls. In a second. <laughs> He's a. It, there's two types. There's many different Cody's. Ever see that movie? Um. Where the guy has like multiple personalities, uh, split. Split. That's yeah. Cody. Okay. You never know which one you're gonna get. That's scary because he's a big dude. So it's, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. He gets a hold of you. You ever run on all fours like the dude in the movie? Yeah, that would scare the fuck out of me. I'd get him. Get rid of him or Steven. Well, Steven's already gone. Well, I'd double get rid of him. <laughs> what I'd about, get rid of him again. What about the three the in the vicinity right now? Um, they're right. way more necessary than I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll admit that. I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't really you know, he doesn't really yeah. need me here. Yeah. I had this spotlight don't even turn to him. I don't even have the <laughs> option to I get like it over spotlight. there. I got my oh, own spotlight was cool. That's a cool addition. Implement yeah. it. Take it. Yeah. What? You take my sound bites. We'll trade. Though, yeah, we'll take I smash his <laughs> fucking head for a little Mo Mozzarella when he said that line. That was a good find from you because that guy genuinely makes me laugh every time I go on Instagram. Everything else on Instagram, I, your videos will make me laugh and no, like, you know, some friends and don't, stuff. It's fine. I want to follow you. But most people on Instagram, it's just, Ryan, you look at yourself. it and you get depressed, I'm you know? But Lil Mo Mozzarella, his energy, his fucking delivery and whatever he's talking about, fucking nobody moves. It's great, yeah. Do you yeah. feel that too when you go on Instagram reels or whatever the fuck and you're just like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. I, I, I was just having a conversation with a buddy about that. It, it's sickening almost. Yeah, it's all trash. And now everybody's a cold plunge and running influencer. Or maybe that's just my algorithm. Cold yeah, plunge? That cold is... plunging running influencer. Oh, okay. Do you guys see yeah. that? No, mine's like Attack on Titan and like, yeah. yeah. I just got guitar and watches. So I guess it's pretty catered to us. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Pretty spot on. Yours is probably all Larry David. Well, I can't. Tr yeah, mine is. I can't even. Tr it's just bad. girls. No, no, no. <laughs> like asses. Like, no, it's just like. I just watch like fetish shit. No, it's like nothing sexual. It's just like <laughs> that's just videos that people upload that are like, you know, having fun that you like. They're being. <laughs> they're just different than the rest. You know, really extrapolate. I, I don't know how it got here. Yeah, my feed. I don't know what. It, 
I just uh, screen There's... share your feed right now. Huh? Screen share your feed. Right <laughs> nice, Kyle. Reels or Instagram? Or wait, what? TikTok or Instagram? Screen share to what? How do we? No, I'm just kidding. This, yeah, this, we don't have the technology no, no, for this I mean, yet. Yeah. It's okay. We, or, I'm surprised we got the lava lamp on for this episode. Oh, I, I made like sure that shit was on. Yeah. I, in. I was like, we cannot miss yeah, this shit. Yeah, this is huge. Our third, well, fourth mm. live. Uh -huh. Third one had to get deleted and reposted. So <laughs> this was great. It We're was, honored. Yeah, was, yeah, no, it was, it was a lot of fun. It and it was successful. Quickly, Nobody, yeah. no tables have been flipped. Yeah. Um. There's a song of the day recommendation that I would like to put out there. Hungry Like the Wolf. Duran Duran. Yeah, that's what I've. That's just been what I've been on today. Probably the song of the week. I'll play it All out right. here, and then we'll have to find a new one. There's usually a new song of the week playing in the house. It gets us fired up for whatever we're about to start doing. So, what's been like some others? Like, what do you fuck with? Uh Rebel Yell, Billy Idol. Okay, that gets me fired up. Um, Can I could I just share my whole playlist, but then I, I would have nothing for next week. Right. Okay. You know, you want to recommend a movie or a song or something for someone. Can can I? <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Third Coast by Tizo Touchdown. That's a song? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's sick. I'll show you after. All right. Well, yeah. Well, I would love to hear it. You just can't play it now because then uh, they'll get all of our money. Right. That I worked so hard to steal from Ethan. Right. Um, <laughs> Mastermind plan here. Yeah. This has been calculated for weeks. Oh, you're going on break? Perfect. It worked <laughs> out. <laughs> when are you going back? When's the break uh, over? 20... Uh, Passover. 22nd. Oh, wow. Oh, you just want to come back on next week? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. You guys killed it. You fucking... Thank you, you start, for having Start us. your own side show. Yeah. Members only. <laughs> can we uh, Can we plug our shit? Yeah, of course. Plug you all your go stuff. first? I was, I was kidding about mine now. Oh. I, yeah. I got a new album coming out. No way. April 26th. Original music? Mm -hmm. My Hell second album. Yeah. So you already have an album out now. Okay, that's great. Got to go download that, stream that. Uh, my second album, and then I'm playing at the Echoplex August 11th. Come see me there. Get your tickets, folks. It's going to be a hell of a night. You're going to want to go see him live. Yes. It's it's extremely impressive. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. Thank mm -hmm. you for letting me do I'll, I'll be there and a few other crew members as well. So When is it? The August 11th. August 11th. Good old fashioned kick your ass rock and roll. Is it your name or do you have an artist name? It's just Zach Lewis. Zach Lewis. Yes. So just Google Zach Lewis tickets and you'll find them. Damn. So any is it just you performing? It, it's me. So I play guitar, sing. My bass player is Zach, who I've known. How does he spell Zach? Z C H. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. I've known him since seventh grade, and then we have our drummer Jeff, and we just do power trio. Hendrix what the style fuck? Shit. Yeah. Look at those names. Yeah. Zach Zach Jeff. Did yeah. he spell it with a G? <laughs> that'd be crazy uh he's jay nice so all yeah right, cool just kick ass rock and roll then i'll come that i would love great. to have you uh, i would love to come yeah. uh all right dope this was great guys yeah thanks for having us thanks for watching everyone thank you we'll for having back us with uh thank you for coming uh, and we'll be back with another live hopefully oh we're gonna do one at coachella like an irl live oh, that's cool. i'm gonna have crazy shit going on in the house oil wrestling tana and brooke are gonna fight oh i'm gonna have that in white t-shirts they're gonna wrestle each other the tropicana <laughs> yeah it's gonna be sick <laughs> yeah maybe i'll even fight a fucking influencer send one out there in the backyard we got a lot of land a lot of space mud and wrestling good. yeah yeah they just go around with the phone now right just hit live on youtube i love it all right love you guys love you love thank it. you thank very you. much out on the corner he was dealing in drugs got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts now he's a podcaster his life he'll talk about it with us and now it's jeff fm jeff fm